everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Dagger Romper Trigger Happy Havoc played by Disillusioned Place. <laughs> and I... That was a quick save. <laughs> <laughs> We've not tried to do this like over, 10 times. Over in the UK, it's rather warm. My brain has ceased to function, it seems. So, yes, welcome to Disillusioned Place Dagger Romper Trigger Happy Havoc. There we go. On the last episode, Hifumi and Taka have sadly, sadly bit the dust. No. Uh, F in chat for our boy. <laughs> F in chat. Yeah. Taylor is still in a state of mourning for his boy. <laughs> uh, yes, we began the investigation. Uh, we wondered what had happened to Hiro and Kyoko, whom we eventually found in the swimming pool. Well, yeah. Not actually in the pool, like, but near in, the pool. Yeah, yeah, in the uh, swimming pool with... Hero dressed up as a robot. He's ro dressed as Robo Justice and oh, Kyoko yes. saying it doesn't matter where she's been. Yeah. Which uh, sounds suspicious. It, yeah. Like, I don't, there's no other way to put it. It sounds suspicious, guys. I mean, there's a lot of suspicion. I mean, Celeste is being suspicious. Kyoko's suspicious. And how the hell did Hero get in the suit in the first place? But before we find out, I'm Sarah. I'm Pete. And I'm sad. <laughs> I'm in Taylor. Okay, after that disastrous intro, let's get into let's it. Jump in. I hate introing, you might have noticed. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Oh no, okay. it's, oh, it's, it's me straight away. <clears throat> no, see, it's it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then. <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Why do I have to do it? I mean, I can't remember the okay. context. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I can't remember the context. No, because the thing is, the whole the whole problem is that Hero was found inside the Robo Justice costume, but it was latched from behind, so he couldn't actually get it off. Now, the oh. point that they were trying to make was that um, oh, Hero has to Hero has to be the one that was wearing it or that committed the crime, because. Uh, because it would really only fit him. Owie put it on, but she couldn't actually make it fit. Yeah. So then we come back to this. That yeah. was it. So yeah, Bakoto, go ahead. Yeah, sorry about that. Basically, I, I was looking for the button to bring up the previous dialogue. There we go. Found it. And I always end up press <laughs> I always end up pressing this the button that that puts it into like autoplay mode. Oh god. And then it doesn't stop. And it's just we, like stop! We, stop! We are literally disaster plays, that good for today. Yeah. It's just not happening, guys. I'm sorry. It just, yeah, it's just going completely, uh, completely This mad. This is a great start, okay? It's gone completely pear shaped. From the outset, it's, right. it's gone tits, okay. it, might be, <laughs> it might be that with an edit, you won't know that that happened, but maybe you will. Who knows? Hopefully not. <clears throat> Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. Ugh, it's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. See? I told you it was impossible. You are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. I know, because I made it. <laughs> <laughs> then, there's another costume. They must have one that looks the same, but, but fits them. If you insist in this line of defense, then show us some evidence. Uh, uh, evidence? You claim there is another suit, we? Then you must find it and show it to us. We? Yeah, we. W what the heck? Who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. Which is how we know it was him. I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Could someone, like, tell me? Uh -oh. <laughs> My voice just, just didn't work. <laughs> just like, okay. I did I did notice that, that Hero's tombro was like about two... Two octaves above where it normally is. <laughs> Could you like tell me? <laughs> this is really weird. Sorry. About tell that. me. It's just a really. It's just today is not. Just went into Ron Delight mode. There you go. Oh God. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. It's looking more and more like it really was a setup. Ring. Mm. Ah yes. Mm. Mm. Kyoko's talkative, yes. as usual. She looks like she's lost in thought. I don't think she's in the mood to talk. I'd better leave her alone. I mean, she was very, like, 
adamant not to ask her where she's Yeah, not to said. talk to her. Yes. Do not talk to me. I certainly did not expect Hiro and Kyoko to turn up at the same time. But where has Kyoko been hiding all this time? I was going... I wanted to murder her first! <laughs> I have no idea. Perhaps she really is working for the mastermind. What else would explain her questionable behavior? But... but... You are quite protective of her, we. Oui? Oui. <laughs> That's because she's helped me out so much up until now. Hmm. If I were the mastermind, that is exactly what I would do to earn your trust. Hmm. Or, if you are the mastermind, this is exactly the sort of thing you'd say to make me question my previous loyalties to the people that... Are... <laughs> <laughs> uh, we? There's no talking your way out of this one! You did it! Everyone knows it! Everybody knows you it. You know it. I yeah. know it. Everybody Everyone. knows God. it. <laughs> God damn it. No! <laughs> Trump, get out! <laughs> no! Uh, um... If you don't, if you don't tell me what's going on, uh, how am I supposed to understand? I, th I think I figured out that uh, someone's been killed, right? Uh, hey, uh, Makoto, who was it? W well, two people were killed, Taka and Fumi. What? Two people? Why are you freaking out? You did it. I did not. Wait, uh, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed, that's it! I know who did it! You may as well tell us, then. Taka and Hifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? Which means Alter Ego and or Chihiro must have done it! I see. That's... unfortunate. Huh? Unfortunate? trying to trick us! You admit that you... Uh, just admit you did it, okay? I, I'm telling you, you got it all wrong! Uh, ah, I know! That note! Note? Last night, someone swept a... Swept. Swept. <laughs> someone swept, swept them up. <laughs> swept a weird note under last, my door! Last <laughs> night, someone swept a weird note. Yeah, last night someone slipped a weird note under my door. Again. I did not say swept. I did not. I said slipped. It sounded like swept. You said swept. I did. You did. Are you he freaking serious? <laughs> you might. You might say it's swept out. <laughs> oh boy. This is this is this is a great episode. This is just this is this has been amazing. You've been a wonderful crowd. Thank you. <laughs> Last night, uh. someone slipped. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. Here's what it said. It must just be because, like, with it saying slipped and weird note, maybe. You know, with it being, with it being orange, like yellow, orange, maybe it just kind of, mm. I'm reading ahead and I just kept, like, overwriting the previous word. Maybe. I found a hole. Maybe we can use, sorry, I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out. So don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. Oh, but the last thing I remember is going to the rec room. Then for some reason I fell asleep. The real killer probably drugged me or something. <laughs> Not a chance. No, hold on. We could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. What? Really? I told you, someone's trying to set me up! A secret passage? A chance to escape? Someone wrote all that to trick me! Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Hey, I like food, okay? <laughs> Besides, you're the one who loves all the donuts. Hey! Don't bring yeah, donuts I mean, into What this. you can't see is like... If, if, if Makoto got, like, a fishing rod with a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Aoi would literally just be, be, like, hopping around trying to catch it. Oh, God. She would be, she would just dangle from it. Regardless of, <laughs> regardless of like, any conversation or any context, it should just be going for it. Uh, which sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, well, after being trapped here for so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? 
What kind of? Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! They preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. I still don't buy it. Well, you should buy it. Okay, then show us that note. Uh, I accidentally I ate lost it. it. <laughs> yeah. With pleasure. I have it right here in my, um, pocket? Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh, looks... <laughs> uh, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> but it looks <laughs> like I lost it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, but, but, but please, you, you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? D did you set fire to it when I was in the suit or something? I don't know what you mean. I had no, it literally I right simply here. removed it from your pocket after I sealed you in the costume. Oh, whoops. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> I have no particular issue with what you claim. But if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh, wh what the heck? For serious? Yasuhiro's account is Yasuhiro's been added to account. The account. Makoto's just written, just written a mess. <laughs> now then. Much like this episode. <laughs> hey, <laughs> give us a break, pal. Well, he just wrote down disillusion plays. <laughs> I just, I... <laughs> now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero! No! <coughs> no! It's like I said! Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke, and that's why! Hey, that's not fair. <laughs> like, I mean, I am broke, but that's <laughs> not... That's... Ooh, wait, wait, wait! That's a false accusation! Someone help me! Just be thankful we haven't bound and gagged you. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> if you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? Ah, you're right. I need to look for the second suit and that note. Uh, feet don't fail me now. <sighs> Guess I'd better get back to guard duty. I was gonna ask Toko, uh, uh, Genocide Jack to switch with me. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. I'm not well, sure it would be much of a fight. I'm pretty sure Sakura could, like, squish her. Just flatten it. Like, yeah. a, like a, like a, like a, a grape. Like a grape. <laughs> it'd just well, be a bit like I... <laughs> it just be a bit like the fight between like the mountain and was it like Oberon or whatnot in Game of oh, Thrones? Oh god! Just yeah. just like genocide, Jack, like yeah. slashing away. Yeah, and then she just and then Sakura just, just and then Sakura well, sticks a thumb through no, her eyes and the, and explodes her head. <laughs> no, it would, it would be it would be like you know Jack would try to stab Sakura and then Sakura would basically just flex her muscles to trap the scissors. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> and just be like. Nani? Well, <laughs> Nani? Nani? <laughs> that is literally. What are you without your weapons? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then just knocks it through a wall. Umayo emo. Well, I guess it, <laughs> and then and then she'd just take her out with it with a hormone. Hormone. Just, <laughs> just like, my God! I call upon the power of hormone. <laughs> Belt the scissors with by hardening her blood. <laughs> <laughs> just like on some shit. Oh my goodness. We lo by the way, I know it, oh it sounds like we're ripping on JoJo, but we do actually like yeah, it. Yeah, we do actually like so JoJo. Please, it's they, they especially like the accuracy with which the British accents are portrayed. Oh. They they've stressed that to me I mean, off camera. How much they are just like I You know what? I really I just <laughs> I mean, I got to say Speedwagon is on point with that accent, man. I mean, yeah, perfection. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Anyway, anyway. One one by one, everyone peeled away. Except for one person, I guess. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Uh... Sure, I, I don't mind helping, but 
Can you promise me something? Please don't make fun of the fact that I don't understand anything and I just ask needless questions constantly so that the people watching the game can understand what, like, your, your thought process. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I was gonna don't say Don't make it. factual statements like they're insults. <laughs> Later, when you have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. You rejected me so simply. Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Yes. She says slowly, pulling up a gun. <laughs> you don't mind, do uh. you? <laughs> No, no, no! Okay. It'll be it'll be the sewing kit. The sewing. She's kit. holding the big needle from the sewing kit. Oh god! Thanks. Now then, shall we? Yum. If we must. So, Makoto, first I'd like to examine the corpses. Ah, oh, straight in. Ah, Delightful. Okay. Examine the corpses. I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. And I'm forty-five. <laughs> Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, Why are you looking at me like I, that? I mean, I, 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 uh, just, uh, uh, eh, uh, eh. <laughs> How am I supposed to answer? Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Y yeah, you're right. Okay, then. Show me where the bodies are. They're in... The repository. I said to myself so that I guess we should head that way. Sorry. Then I guess we should head that way for now. <laughs> repository, right now. Hang on, I had this confusion last time. That's uh... the art room. What? Pete, yes. you can teleport. Yes. Pete, yes. Yes. Pete, <laughs> teleport no, button. I don't know Pete. which floor it's on. The third floor. I'm looking. It's behind the, the art okay, room. I see it. I see that it. one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dolly, yeah. what are you doing? I'm trying to get to this. You can't just pick any square. You have to pick a certain spot. You can't. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Like so, these tiny. Look, these tiny squares you can teleport, but the big ones you can't. Oh, okay, my bad. So like, you can't. I can't just click A on here and teleport straight okay. there. It's one of the tiny weeny squares. Okay. Yeah, it sucks. Okay. Do, 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 do. Ah! And side, we'll go sideways. This this Make everyone feel really crap sick. Crab walk along the corridor. That's it. Makoto's practicing his strafing. <laughs> That's it. Sorry for uh, any motion sickness. The okay. To the repository. Boing. <laughs> Hifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid. But only for a moment. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding the body. Presumably she was just nice. surprised to see Taka with the white hair. Yeah. Oh wait, like, no, his hair went back dark again. Mm. How strange. The monarch... He <laughs> <laughs> was knocked out of Super Saiyan. That's monkey. it. <laughs> yeah. Kaioken. Gone. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth. She was so... calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. Okay. Okay. Uh. Should we talk. Should we talk to the bodies? Should we talk to? Somehow I don't think they're gonna talk. Probably. Back, pal. Yeah. <laughs> well, she did tell us to investigate them though. Sorry. When oh. I say talk to, I mean click on. Taka was killed by a blow to the head. <laughs> that he must have been struck with Justice Hammer Four, yeah. which was laying on the floor in the equipment uh, room. Are you giggling at the pointy finger? <laughs> Again. Tiny hand. Tiny I'm just hand. thinking of scared. Tiny hand. hand. Very small my, my hand. hand. No. <laughs> like a little baby arm. Oh, no. Sorry. <clears throat> and there's a tarp laid out under his body. The killer must have used it to move Taka's body. That way it wouldn't leave any bloodstains as it was moved. And by it, I mean Taka's body. Body, 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 <laughs> body. Body, body. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest problem I have right now is Hifumi's big, big body. I know! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Is how the killer was able to move Hifumi's massive corpse! Just, like, just properly fat shaming. Like, guys, can Makoto, we Makoto, he's a person, not a beached whale. <laughs> oh. He's just, like, such fat shaming. I know! 
from the nurse's office where he was discovered to hear the repository. All the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. I just can't see how that's possible. Further, it seems that Hifumi died from a blow to the head. He was most likely killed using Justice Hammer 3, which we found in the nurse's office. But... When he found his body in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in blood. But now they're spotless. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses clean? But who would do that? And why? Talk to the ladies. Doesn't Kyoko get creeped out by poking at dead bodies and stuff? Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> There are many aspects to the incident this time. Too many. This is just things. the recap thing. Yeah. Considering that it may be good to look back on everything. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Considering that it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. Would you like my help? <laughs> no, we've done that already, thank you. I'm. <laughs> I'll just crush you later. <laughs> <laughs> Makoto, I found something. You did? You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore in his left hand? Ah, yes, that, that oh, yes, has that been mentioned no, very that frequently. Actually. <laughs> that, that detail. <laughs> yes, yeah, that detail that's been mentioned very frequently throughout the entire book. Yes! I con talked constantly about my wristwatch. <laughs> wristwatch, wristwatch, wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Can't talk. <laughs> he did? Oh, Bakoda's just flew. Are you. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the Where hell? <laughs> Oh, sorry, Kyoko. Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? Whoa. N no, that's not it. it. I just don't it's, go noticing the moles that people have on their faces. I just like, don't it's rude pay to attention. stare, you know. <laughs> I just don't pay attention to anything other than how average I am. <laughs> anyway, so you said he had a watch? <clears throat> Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? Well, that and the fact that the face is, is cracked yeah. would also be the... Yeah, also, is this on the tiny hand? Is this on the baby hand? Or is this on the normal <laughs> size hand? <laughs> <laughs> Most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past six o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after six? But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Where is it? Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? His left hand, his left hand, which is like covered up by his sleeve. Well, left wrist, bro. Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch, oh. which he wasn't actually staring at because he was in a shouting pose. <laughs> so it's unclear how he was actually staring at the watch. <laughs> it's almost ten o'clock. You know that. Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. Jesus, that was just so specific, isn't it? I don't. Yeah. I definitely do not remember him like pointing at his wristwatch, like to think that that would be such Although a, I suppose he detail. was always a stickler for people being on time. He was, that's true. Mm. But it didn't, I, I just don't didn't remember about the watch. No. So if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. Meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning. You catch on fast, young one. <laughs> broken wristwatch has been added to the 12 void section of the handbook. And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. Notice how tiny it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. He appears to be... Yeah, apparently Makoto just didn't see any of this when we looked at it initially. <laughs> Thank God Kyoko came along with her Abby. functioning eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that, like, whoever has uh, put the bodies down and whatnot didn't notice it either. If it's sticking yeah. out of his hand that much, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. He appears to be gripping something. You're right! There's something. <laughs> There's something white in there. Why are you... <laughs> what are you giggling at? What? A tissue? No, it's just, it's so obviously a piece of crumpled up paper. Like, it, you know, there's something white in there. Not, oh, there's a piece of paper. It's, there's something white. What? It, it's a flower. It's flower petals. It's, it could be some fur yeah. from Monokuma. It's cocaine. It's cocaine. 
<laughs> cocaine. <laughs> wow. That was how he actually got his hair to turn white. It's a white. Christmas uh, cracker. Uh, uh, I, I, my, my mind went straight to the gutter. You guys are just there but like, how? oh, it could be this. There's something white in his hand. Yeah, but Come what? on. But Come it doesn't on. look anything like but whatever you're trying to imply. <laughs> I know it doesn't, but it just made me sicker. You're gross. I know I it's am. dirty. I'm proud of it, boy. It's dirty. <laughs> Well, I mean, it would have had to be with his left hand because his his right one was it would be too tiny to grip anything. <laughs> no, no, no. no, he, no. It, it's with the left he... hand that he could watch the time as well. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> he could <Christ>. time himself. <laughs> Set a new record. Can you try and pr oh. can you try and pry it out, please, Makoto? Can you try and pry it out? <laughs> Me? Oh no. Rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor. It's right? opening his fingers! That's sexist, pal. For God's oh. sake! <laughs> Jesus! I love how she's prodding and poking uh, okay. around. Okay. She's prodding and poking around, but she can't open a guy's fingers. She can't fingers. open his fingers. Like, I, I also like the idea that she's saying this while Sakura is literally standing right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Naga's like, like, yes, I would never handle a dead body just like, like this. like looming over her. Like. I wouldn't be strong enough to open the fingers. Makoto, you'd better do it. <laughs> I don't know what voice that was. Oh, I don't either. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating from the cold <laughs> of his hand, which was icy like and cold. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. Up. Piece of paper? Jesus, he's only just realized. Was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? No. Is this the thing where there's like something written on the reverse side? Probably. And we just <laughs> and haven't seen and it. They don't turn it over ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's like doesn't seem like much of a clue. Oh, on the contrary, my dear Watson. I wonder about that. Yoko then turned to Hifumi's body. Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us a few clues of his own. Perhaps Hifumi will have the other, the, the corresponding other half of the note. Mm. I mean, doubt. That would be very convenient. Okie koki. Hifumi! Wait, do we actually click on him, or do we talk to Kyoko? Kyoko leaned down over Hifumi's massive, 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 <laughs> massive, huge, <laughs> ginormagantuan body. Yeah, we've already done this yeah, line. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, so it, what, it's just talk to... Talk, talk to Kyoko. Kyoko. Why would it do that then? Stupid, stupid game. So, did you find anything? I did, more than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper? Ifumi had it hidden on him. Hidden? <laughs> Metal Gear. He'd stuffed it in no! his... No! <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Geez. So I can only assume he'd hidden it on purpose, you see. Mm. It's a picture of his waifu. Oh, no. In his pants? Wait, so you... It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. Oh, yes, because socks. I... Socks are worse. I, I don't... I don't know what that... Means. I suppose pants, though, like, Sarah and I are obviously thinking a bit where It's going to be just trousers, right? Me yeah. his trousers, not in his underpantsy. Not the underpantsy. The weird, the weird, obscure reference. Underpantsy. <laughs> underpantsy. <laughs> <Unterpansy. laughs> <Unterpansy. laughs> anyway. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto. Open it That's up. That's it. It's been near. Why do I have to touch the pants <laughs> it's paper? It's been near his crotch. <laughs> but feel free, Makoto. You touch it. Ignore the stain. Oh. <laughs> when I think of how it was stuffed down his pants, it's like. It better be important, Hifumi, or I'll never forgive you for this. <laughs> I'm dead, pal. Oh. Uh, a note? Uh. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. This is the bit where we're going to advance a text. Makoto has no idea what he's refer what's being referred to. Yeah. Huh. It sounds familiar, but I don't know when that could have happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though it was literally five minutes ago! Yeah. That sounds very familiar. 
That's it. Uh, oh. I'm wrong. Oh shit. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. Shit, he remembered. Makoto's goldfish brain has retained some information. Jesus Christ. It was only five minutes ago, though. Hold the if, phone. If it had been like another ten seconds. True. It was bo- <laughs> it was borderline before he forgot. That's it. It was borderline before he. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was borderline before he went round the goldfish bowl again. <laughs> I've come up with a new note. I've come up with a new note. <laughs> It's the same thing Hero said. And he was telling the truth. Although, it's not exactly the same, is it? Eh? Uh, last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole, maybe we... <laughs> I found a hole, maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so oh, don't tell... Mm-hmm. So don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. Please. The time is different. Hiro told us that his note said to meet at 1 a.m. But the note they wrote to Hifumi asked him to meet at 6 a.m. Hold on. Just because Hifumi had the note... Uh, doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. There's some meaning to part... Come on, guys. Part of it being ripped? Literally piece it together, guys. Come on. Come on, think about it. Taka's watch is around 6 a.m. when it stopped. <laughs> Obviously, Hafumi mm-hmm. must have picked out that note from his hand a little bit torn off. Somebody's caught Hafumi looking at it, fucked him over the head, and that's it. <laughs> There's some meaning to part of it being ripped? <laughs> okay. Um, just, just. Could you maybe explain it a little more? No. Think, think carefully. <laughs> That's all of us saying that. Think carefully, Makoto. <laughs> Jesus. Think, Makoto. Like, think the brain. <laughs> Engage your brain cell. What? Oh, that's that's the bit. The the smirk. That's it. Why yeah. would he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tight? It's like Maya's sassy face. <laughs> yeah. I I have no idea. What if it wasn't just a? S- <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> We're going Wait, to the, the thing is, oh, we're, we're going, going, we're going to... down to market to the museum and all the way back around with but this, aren't we? Wait for it, Wait for it. It'll be a different scrap of paper in the end. You'll be like, wait, so you mean that scrap of paper? Wait, but it doesn't fit. Oh, that's strange. There was another note. <laughs> <laughs> something. What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how would something important like... <laughs> I am like dying. I, I just, I can't. I, I can't. can't even. I can't even. How would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Sometimes, Phoenix, when you can't think of something, you have to think outside the box. Mm. It's not about why it would be a scrap of paper. It's, it's not about the scrap of paper. It's about how could it become a scrap of paper? <laughs> Makoto's just... just there, like, Nanny? <laughs> Absolutely. For God's sake. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. You're stupid. The two victims this time definitely had their E handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Hmm. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. You think place. they've just added that in because they were like, in the, in the class trial, there's going to be something come up about handbooks. And, no. then and then the writers are like, shit, we should probably uh, we should probably put some little message in to be like, yeah, hey, it's nothing to do with them. It's nothing to yeah, do with them. Don't yeah. worry about it. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like, it's don't, like, don't focus on them, pal. It's like, oh, I totally forgot about that. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. That's a rabbit hole. <laughs> so you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Well, that's a relief because I have a hard time thinking about many things. <laughs> about anything. I can't even piece these two scraps of paper together. He's literally got one in each hand. <laughs> yeah. He's got the full note in one hand, the paper in the other, and he's just like, eh? 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 how could this have? How? And he's just like, how could these have? 
how could these have become separated? <laughs> I don't get it. It's just like, 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 like flopping them together. <laughs> just scrunching them like all up into a them paper together. <laughs> it don't fit. And then Phoenix is just like, wow, you're right. I couldn't figure that out either. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sort of thing I'd have to present five different pieces of evidence before I could find out. <laughs> If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. But they were used to carry Hifumi. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. Hey. <laughs> a handbook may play a role? I don't think I understand. Yoko, are you just the writer of the story? <laughs> like, you, is this no. literally just the writer just which, giving us which, the Yes, what you didn't see is the reason Kyoko was off screen is because she was hair, like at a typewriter. She was in that like <laughs> Resident Evil dog room oh, God. trying to very hastily construct this whole thing <laughs> procedurally. Jesus. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I'd better keep it in mind. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Uh -oh. I guess that's it. There we go. We found the last piece of evidence. <clears throat> Trying to wreck your vocal cords, Pete. <laughs> Are you excited? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin. Like the bright burst of fireworks, let the flash of a soul clashing with... Wait. Like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. And so... With no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. Eek. It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an no end. No shit. <laughs> You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we'd better get going. Uh, okay. Okay. Da da. We just like da da. Teleported. Da da. Are we ready? No, I'm never ready. <laughs> As Makoto's oh. still trying to make the two pieces of paper fit together <laughs> while he's walking. How does this? <laughs> Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation, and they were gathered by the red door. And as soon as we were all there... Ah! Whoa! Ah! Hello! Ah! Hello, hello, hello! He's multiplied? Nope! Not multiplication! It just looks that way because of an illusion! I'm moving so fast, it looks like I've multiplied! <laughs> Can you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? Um, can we just get on the elevator already? Oh, you're not playing along a lot. Why is it along a lot? Like a <laughs> lot. Oh, okay. You're not playing along a long, a long. It's really weird. We're not here to play with you. Oh, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> then if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain train. Uh, uh, Elevator. Uh, I'll see you guys down there. Okay, now it's time for a deep monologue <laughs> while we ride the elevator down, or while I talk about exactly how the elevator's moving. Mm -hmm. and oh, Makoto, will you please just shut up? <laughs> Shall we? No. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> Hold on. I'm not mentally prepared yet. He'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. I told you already, I didn't do it. For serious. Hmm, that reminds me. Did you ever find the other costume? Or the note? Did you ever explain note. why there's a fire huh. in your room? Uh. Um, well, no, but... Makoto is again, still holding the note. Huh, note, I wonder. <laughs> no! Could it be related? No, no, Probably. no. Couldn't be, no. I should just throw it up and throw it in the garbage. <laughs> How unfortunate. Then it would seem we have a culprit. 
This isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the courtroom. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. Uh-oh. I have to... <laughs> I have to... do it. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> no! <laughs> I can't let whoever have killed Hifumi and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's still alive. And for the two that lost their lives. Yep. Just in case we mm -hmm. forgot. Just yep. in case we forgot. Did, who didn't they really are. need a flashback. Yep, we we yep. know who's dead, pal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the one who killed Hifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The one who committed a murder of the two people with which we are familiar and have become accustomed to seeing. The killer is the one who killed the two of them. The killer is. Well. But we'll killer have is. to find out next time. <laughs> Someone right no here. Shit. Really? <laughs> right. Elevator time. Oh, you don't want to talk took to one me. one last deep breath. <laughs> oh, I'm... And exhale slowly. Your time will come. <laughs> I'm simply offended! Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sleep paralysis, David, go away. <laughs> what do you mean? You love me, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, love is such a strong word. <laughs> I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. <laughs> Out my ears! <laughs> I began to walk towards the elevator. Once everyone was aboard, I quickly jumped out and was like, "Bye, guys! <laughs> See ya! Bye! <laughs> See ya! Eat!" <laughs> the doors closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. Whap, 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 whap. Oh, it's yep. looking a little empty there. It's so big, the elevator. That's what she said. Oh, here we go! See, I called it. <laughs> the clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. It's because it really wants to be a novel. <laughs> there was no going back. What a three. <laughs> Until we settled this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open. <laughs> opening up onto a cruel fate. <laughs> when I gathered you all together like this, I realized just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Only because of you. Why? Why are you making us do such cruel things to each other? What, what? Do you really hate me so much? But <laughs> I'm so cute. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Don't rush me! Of course I'm going to start it. I would never be like, stay tuned for the next action-packed class trial after this commercial break, or after let what's gonna happen next time on the next episode of Disillusion Plays. By the way, have you heard about Raycon wireless earbuds? <laughs> would never be like, let's let them know after a quick message from our sponsor, <laughs> Ray Chiano Legend. <laughs> <laughs> I never hold out on you like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened once again. The metaphorical <laughs> curtain, of course, because there wasn't an actual curtain pressed in the courtroom. <clears throat> Oh my god, <laughs> A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. <laughs> a deadly oh. riddle. <laughs> Stop! Cease! Cease what you're doing! Gee, We're I never just... deadly finish riddle. This game. <laughs> a deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly prolonging of the deadly, deadly <laughs> preamble which always preceded the deadly. <laughs> <laughs> Shut him up! Deadly class trial. Oh Gee, I goodness. just love the sound of my own internal voice. Out. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to realize why more of this game isn't voiced. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. It's driving so it's like the, vo- the voice actor from Makoto just like, What? So I really have to say deadly like 500 times? Couldn't I just say it once and then you just like add it in? It's like, are you serious? I have to say this. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. So handiwork allows you to reload two bullets at once. Cool. Increase bullet capacity, increase damage. Fine. I'm just, I was just going through and just ticking them all because we've got plenty of uh, mm. SP. But then I realized, wait, is one of them going to be like a, a sneaky bad one? Mm. So I'm just checking real quick. Oh, that seems, yeah, that all yeah, seems yeah. fine. Open the e handbook. Uh, truth bullets probably be a good one to check out. Do, 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 do. Blood on the wheel. The dolly with only blood on one wheel. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, 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 we know about that. Spotless hammer looked like it had been Spot. washed. Yeah. Yep. Repository door only locks from the inside. Uh, right. Right. So hang on, so both of the both of the wheels must have been caught because if there's tire tracks. No, I was joking because it only so showed much. one yeah, wheel. Yeah. Glasses cleaning cloth in yeah. the nurse's office with blood it was found in the trash can. Celeste account. Fumi body. So Fumi disappeared when they went to the bathroom. Made the dining hall. Okay. Blueprint. Costume. No one can fit to it except just hero. I can't bend at the waist. Or bend at the waist more than 90 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, he apparently he got the note to meet in the rec room at one. one Tuckers yep. Stopped broke. working at six. He dug a bit of paper. And then the, yeah, yeah, we have that the one. note that we, we have no idea where that extra little bit of paper <laughs> could have been. <laughs> nope. nope. No idea where that rip corner could have gone. <clears throat> let's believe they weren't involved, so, but so we don't know. <laughs> no All right then, Biatches. Are you ready to start the class trial? Let's do this. No, Pete. The deadly class the trial. The deadly <laughs> class trial. Okay. Trial! All, All rise! rise. <laughs> I don't know why. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial again. <laughs> Do we really need one of those? Not really. We know what we're doing It's now. the same. It's like as if you were going to start the game from like trial four or something, which you can't do. You have no. to play through the whole game. So <laughs> it's really weird that he wants to explain to them every time when they've already been through like three of I them. guess the only thing is if you started playing it and then you put it down and you come or back, you suddenly them. miraculously forgot what to do in a class trial. Yeah, maybe, it's but just like it's a bit. OP, OP in it. <laughs> it's just, it's just ah, here's what happened the last <laughs> time in Dragon Quest. <laughs> hey, that's really useful. That game is long. Yeah, yeah, that is a really anyway, useful feature. That is true. <laughs> anyway, so your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And then the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, to begin with... We already know who did it! Who was that? It was Hiro. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place and we found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it! You killed them! I didn't! Someone knocked me out! I was asleep the whole time! I didn't know anything about it! Shut your murdering mouth, murderer! Oh, jeez. Uh, who are you calling a murderer? <laughs> I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprints for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I... Crime after crime. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! Is Hero really the killer? Or... Is this just a deception used to make it look like he was the killer so that it could actually pad out the court case? <laughs> Find out Before next time. anything else, we have to make that clear. Straight in. Yeah. Oop. Now I wish I'd turned the bitrate up on the recording pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kelsey. 
Everything we found in your room. What's in your room? The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff! It's not true! It's a conspiracy! Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No, hold on a second. Just hold on a second. Compelling evidence that Hero was the killer. Is that really true? What do we think? Yes, Hero's message. Found in his room. Uh, the blueprints, the costume. The blueprints. The blueprints, the suit parts. Oh, is this the thing where we have to like we have to click on her statement to get another truth yeah, bullet? Maybe. Mm. I could kill them. Just hold on a sec. Okay, so it's none of them. Oh wow, so it literally is just all that stuff. Hang on. Is there like a costume and blueprints? They were definitely in his room. Do they prove that he's the killer? Hang on a minute. Let's think. Let's think. So, because like the blueprints didn't have the. It has the text robo just or something. Oh, maybe we use Hero's note on the blueprints because the handwriting's different. Yeah. Mm. Is that a. Yes, Hero's message. Yeah, so Hero's message. Oh, well done, Tyler. Yeah, nice. No, you're wrong. <laughs> no, you're wrong. <laughs> shut up. Hey, that's my no, line. Yeah, just shut up, you. You're totally wrong. Are we sure Hero really made those blueprints? I mean, I don't think he could even find his way out of a room, out of a, like a room, much less draw anything complex. <laughs> he couldn't find his way out of a paper bag. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Well, take a look at this. It always amuses me how Makoto stands. Yeah. Like, he's got that, like, really bent over like yeah, that. It just looks yeah. really weird. I'm using kyphotic posture, which is going to result in back <laughs> problems long term. <laughs> it's the note that Hero wrote asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? When you compare it to the blueprints, there's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Unless that person made it, made it a point to disguise their handwriting. And um, Hero, of course, made that big point about wanting to have really nice handwriting. Yeah, so. yeah. No, the differences are bigger than that, I think. Okay, come on! <laughs> I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's true. So, Makoto, are you saying you don't think Hero's the culprit? And he's not the only one. I think Hero is innocent as well. I mean, he did say he didn't do it for serious, Owie, so there's really no, you know... What? Then who is in that robo-justice suit? It's like Hero said, there, were, there really was someone running around in the sec... Oh, sorry. Was there, was there, yeah. Is it like Hero said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto, and tell them who it was. Ah, die! <laughs> and of Shit. course he passes it off to me. So, who was in the Robo Justice suit? The suspicious the individual. The Illuminati! <laughs> the one that must. <laughs> it was Dick Gumshoe! <laughs> was... Okay, so obviously Hero. It's gotta be Hero. It's obviously <laughs> Hero. Got it. Other than Hero, I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit, and we never found any kind of second suit. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. Oh, thanks, Biaku, yeah. That doesn't make any sense! <laughs> you just said that Hero didn't do it! It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. So what you're saying is... That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the robo-justice suit. What? Now that's a bold assumption! And what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? 
Of course. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to clarify first. Is is this going to get passed off to me again? So l I have a sneaking <laughs> suspicion it's going to get passed off to so me. So let's get that out of the way. Hey, stop trying to boss us around. But why not? I am your boss, after all. I like that her little her little curly ice cream cone thing just yeah. always gets like puffed out like get a cat's tail whenever yeah, she's upset. Yeah, it gets upset. a bit spiky. <laughs> By ice cream cone, of course, Taylor's referring to her hair. Yes. <laughs> All things have a proper order. So, what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Tucker's lifeless body. It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. Uh -oh. Makoto? Oh, Can dang you it. tell us what they were? <laughs> Why is it always me? <laughs> <clears throat> The things that were used to move Taka's so, body. They must have been... The dolly. Wait, am I thinking yeah, of the right person? Yeah, Taka. There's still one I more like thing. The top itself, maybe? It's the top, yeah. Yeah. The things that were used to move Taka's body, they must have been... Yeah. They were a dolly and a tarp, right? <laughs> What's with the attitude? Oh. So, let's see if I can explain. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room, and then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? It was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. So the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp. And the dolly? Same thing. That, was, that wasn't there in the previous shot, was it? Uh, I... That that dolly was not there in the previous <laughs> camera I shot. I don't, I don't think. know. I wasn't looking, to be fair. I kind of wasn't really paying that much attention to it. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. Yeah, it was like this one, wasn't it? But when the body disappeared, so the 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 dolly. Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the dolly. In other words, you think they used the dolly to move the body? Am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Huh? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. It is not possible that it was in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? She's raised an objection. How do you respond? There is no shame in being wrong. No one expects much from you, anyway. Ooh. Ouch. Hey. Ouch. We have all accepted the fact that you really understand what is going on around you. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. Okay, that okay. one's, one's kind of true, actually. <laughs> yeah, she got me there. <laughs> wow. I've never had anyone sound so nice while being so mean. <laughs> but maybe I can change your mind. I can just explain to them why the dolly must have been moved from the equipment. That'll be the blood yeah, on the, yeah. the, the wheel. Yeah. Wheel. From the equipment room to the repository. A new element. Oh, no. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh no! no! Uh, right. Yes. Yes. We would like yes. to know. <laughs> reloading. Reloading. Starting, I'm reloading. With, <laughs> starting with this next bullet time battle, we're going to add one more ingredient to the recipe. On the bottom of the screen, underneath the tempo marker, you'll see your ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't really been a limit on how you destroy your opponent's statements, but we thought we'd mess with you even more. <laughs> From now on, just locking on and pressing the Y button won't be enough to handle them. Now it will cost you one bullet to destroy a single remark. Once you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more statements, no matter how locked on you are. However, you uh -oh. can reload. By pressing the X button, just like locking on, you have to press it in time with the in time with the tempo marker. Oh god. Basically, just remember that the X button now has a function along with the A and Y buttons. You will automatically reload at the start of fever time and your ammo will not decrease. 
And if your difficulty is set to gentle, you won't have to reload at all. I can't remember what difficulty I we set. I think we're up gentle for the class trial. I think we perhaps <laughs> are, aren't we? It was it was like gentle for action, but like not for logic. It was like the medium. Yeah, we we did tough gentle for, logic, for action because like obviously we're reading this at the same time. Yeah. We, we... <laughs> yeah. In which case, you can ignore everything I just said. Uh, Bye. <laughs> well, good luck. Have fun. Okay, the moment, moment of truth. truth. Uh oh. Oh, oh geez, I'm uh -oh. gonna try and remember how to play this. You have a crow. I cannot. You are a fool. <laughs> so pathetic. Classic, if you know where. You're gonna just keep saying it's gonna just be the same stuff if I recall. Yeah. So I'll just get through this mini game. Oh, you miserable wretch! <laughs> I cannot agree. Away with you. <laughs> you are absolutely positive the dolly is it. La, 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 la. Sorry, if I didn't, <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't no, it's think. Right. I just kind of pressed the button quickly. <laughs> no, it's fine. If you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, if you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, I have it right here, in my chest. <laughs> I mean, uh. When I found the dolly in the repository, one of the wheels, oh, one of the Why? wheels, what? one of the wheels had a blood so it really stain was on just it. the one. Okay. That makes no sense. Presumably she'll have cleaned the blood stain off the other wheel, but didn't see that other one. Probably mm. because from the perspective, <laughs> you know, she just couldn't see it's it. It's just really hard to see. She is two dimensional. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's two dimensional. Are, so. Yes. No. Oh boy. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> You're <back>. dead. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> I'm alive in spirit. Yeah. There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it that matched the dolly's wheel tread. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room. Ah! Oh. <laughs> and as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. <laughs> Jeez. Does Celeste really hate me that much? She just much? hates everyone, Mako. Don't worry about it. Does she really hate him that much? Oh, I don't no. know. We'll have to find out <laughs> next no. time because we have run out of time for this episode. Really? But it's just starting to get interesting. I know. There was all that banter. At the I know, but you guys ages. will just have to tune back in next week. Yep. To see what happens so, next, won't you? So, and so if when... you do want to find out what happens next time. See, Oh, I was going to say, so you mean like when Monokuma was like, I'm not going to leave it till next time and leave you in the lurch. That would be really mean. <laughs> but we are. Yep, because we're cruel human beings. <laughs> we're going to take a commercial break <laughs> of about one week. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do happen to want to know what happens next, why don't you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Ring the little bell so you get notified when the next video goes up yep. so you'll definitely not miss it. That one. And we you... also have a Twitter that is at DisillusionedLP. And Facebook at Disillusion yeah. Plays. I'm going to say, check it out in the link below and you'll see how to get to that. Yeah. And but, so, uh, without yeah. further ado, we're done here. Yep. Yeah. We'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Take care, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>